What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fry's Garage. So this is going to be a quick tutorial video. Uh, we're going to be working on the Silverado again today. Uh, so basically what we're going to be doing, uh, I don't run a MAF sensor, so we are going to delete the MAF sensor and relocate the IAT sensor. So what I have here is I just went online and got an uh, intake air temp sensor that goes into an intake manifold. The pigtail for it. I got a couple O-rings just out of an O-ring kit I have. You can just get you a big large O-ring kit from Light Harbor Freight. What we'll be replacing on the truck will be this right here. This is your EVAP. So we'll be getting rid of this because uh, I don't run EVAP either. And we will be putting the intake air temp sensor in its location. So the tools you're going to need first to remove the EVAP is just going to be an eight millimeter socket with a ratchet or impact. You're going to need a drill with a, I believe it is nine sixteenths or five eighths bit and just some WD-40 or I'll probably use grease to put on the O-rings just to make it slide into the intake manifold easier. But that's gonna be pretty much the tools you need. And like I said, I just got this large kit here of O-rings. So I just grabbed two that fit it good. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me grab this light real quick here and we'll show you how this works out. All right, so as you see, this, this one has already been modified but uh, I'm gonna use it for demonstration purposes. As you see, we already got the EVAP out and then your intake air temp sensor, I ain't got the O-rings on it right now. We'll just go right there in the hole. And then you see it sticks out just straight into the air stream coming into the intake manifold to get the temps for your intake air temps. So, fits pretty well. Now I'm going to go on ahead and get into showing you how to modify it. And you can do this on the truck. We are going to do it on the truck. So uh, that's going to make life a lot easier. So let's go ahead, get to work on it, getting the cover off the top and the throttle body and get ready to pull it apart. All right, so everything's taken off. You see we got a rag shoved up in the hole uh, just to stop from any plastic shavings going further in. So now I'm gonna grab my drill. So I got my drill with my bit. All right, so now we got the hole drilled just that easy. So we'll go ahead, I'm gonna grab a vacuum and just suck out the shavings there and then uh, wipe up the little bit of shavings that went down inside. All right, so as you see now, we got the hole drilled. So our intake sensor goes right in there nice and easy. So now we're gonna just grab our two row rings all right, so now I just got my two O-rings and my intake air temp sensor, so I'm going to go ahead and pop those on. Uh, before I pop them on, though, I'm going to just, I got a little tube of grease here. I'm going to take this grease and just put a little grease on them. So you can do one O-ring, but I'm going to do two just to make sure it seals up good. All right, so the first one, I'm going to put all the way down to that second lip there. All right, so the next one is just going to go to that first lip. All right, so now we're going to take it. O-rings is lubed up. And we're just going to pop it on in the hole. All 
just like that. And now, as you see, she's nice and stuck. She don't pull out easy. All right, so the next thing we got is we got to strip back this harness because uh, we're going to have to get a couple intake air temp wires out of here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get to doing that. All right, so I got my laptop up. I went on to lt1swap.com. I put the link to the website in the description. It has all your LS swap wire needs. Uh, you can find pretty much all kinds of conversions and stuff and how to do it there. Uh, but it's saying our black wire going to A of the connector for the IAT, and then the tan wire going to connection B on the IAT. So that's gonna be the ones we're gonna have to tie into. So let's go ahead and get to that. All right guys, so I'm using this aftermarket standalone harness. So my colors are not gonna be what the schematic says or what a factory harness would say. Mine actually are purple and white after uh, checking the pin out in the ECU. Again, a reason why I don't recommend this Chinese standalone harness because the colors don't match up. So I'm going to go ahead and strip them back. Ooh, that wind kicking the day. All right, so I just got them twisted together for the time being. Uh, before I go through the trouble of heat shrinking and everything, first I'm going to pull up on my VCM scanner, connect to the truck, and just make sure it is reading. Alright, so my AAT is right there. We'll go ahead, start logging and see what it says. Alright, so it's saying 97 degrees. It's probably pretty close uh, to what it is because I just drove this truck. so. Yeah, that's probably pretty close to what it actually is inside that intake manifold. All right, so now it's all loomed up. I uh, just put the old wires for the math down inside there. So all of that is good now. It took... Let me just do one thing. I want to tuck it up kind of behind the fuel rail. There we go. All right, so we got the wire tucked up back there and we're good to go there. All right, so it is all back together. I'm gonna jump in here and fire the truck up. And we're gonna just make sure it spawns and everything like it's supposed to. So let me jump in and start it. Alright, so as you see, as I hit the gas, opening that throttle blade so some outside air could get in there quick. It actually dropped down in temperature because that cool air sucked in. So, she's all finished. As you see, she's tucked up in there. You can't even tell it was done. Uh, the whole reason behind me wanting to do this is, for one, I'm trying to clean up the whole engine bay. So... Basically, that allows me to get rid of the tube and that harness and everything that goes over here. Uh, if you stay tuned to the next video, I'm going to be redoing all this cooling system too to get rid of all these junk hoses everywhere. Uh, so that's going to be in the next video of me cleaning all that and doing a, another uh, expansion tank system. But now, it is going to allow me, since I don't have to run that mass airflow and that harness no more, I'm going to just get me a tube that runs forward a little bit and then it's going to just go straight down and right here where this little angle we have i'm going to build a box that just basically the air filter is going to go in and it's just going to scoop air straight from behind the bumper straight up and come up the tube straight to the intake so i get me some nice cool air and just clean up some more space in the engine bay so guys thanks for watching hope this helps y'all out uh, 
like I said, next video we're going to be working on the cooling system and stuff. Uh, I am going to put a link to all the parts, the little pigtail, the sensor, and everything in the description for you to just be able to go ahead and order the parts to do it. It's very inexpensive to do, probably like 30 or 40 bucks to do this modification. And like I said, if you run a speed density like me, it allows you to get rid of using that whole mass airflow sensor so you can, especially on a uh, supercharger or boosted applications, you can go to a larger intake tube and stuff because you're not going to be restricted by that little housing that the mass airflows in. So for you guys, it might help you all out. Uh, now I do recommend if you're doing a boosted application that uh, you take that, where's my intake manifold? so that you make a little bracket that actually is going to hold it down in there uh on naturally aspirated obviously it's going to be on vacuum so it's always going to be sucked down so the o-rings is just good enough to seal it it's not going to get pushed out by boost but yeah if you're running a boost application i just make you a little bracket that's going to hold it down to make sure it doesn't push it out but uh again guys thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video Alright guys, so we got the Frost Garage gear in, so I am wearing the sweatshirt now with the Rat Rod logo. We got the Silverado logo on sweatshirts. We got the laptop backpack for carrying your laptop to the track or whatever else you need to carry your laptop for. We got t-shirts. We also got thermoses, coffee mugs, and a bunch of other products. So if you want to go down below, check out uh, the different apparel and uh, accessories we have and get you something nice. Uh, don't forget at checkout too to hit the redeem coupon. There's always different coupon codes running. Anything from free shipping all the way up to 25% off depending on the time of the year or the holiday. Alright guys, thank you.